Hi, this is Scott Trudeau with scotttrudeau.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to take a Word document or a PDF and turn it into a fillable form. So you can see I have up here within Acrobat 11 a PDF. The PDF, however, is not interactive. I cannot fill it out. Oftentimes, users grab the little crossbar there and they try to click within the fields and they're often frustrated because they find that this does not allow them to click within a field and fill it out. All that little selection bar does is allow you to select text and copy it. So I would like to be able to make this interactive to make it easier on my end user. In order to do this, I'm going to twirl down my tools panel. Within the tools panel, we have various categories of different options and I'm going to untwirl the forms tools to reveal the tools that I can use to create the form. In this case I'm going to choose create. My create form dialog box opens and I can choose to create from scratch or a template or from an existing document. I'm going to choose to create a form from an existing document. I'm going to choose next and from this point I can choose to use the current document that's already open. I can choose a different file or even scan a form using a scanner straight into Acrobat. I would like to use the current document. So I'm going to choose continue. And it just takes Acrobat a couple seconds. And now I'm in form editing mode. So you can see it went through and discovered almost all the form fields that I needed. The only thing that I missed, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this, is that it missed this two form field up at the top. And the reason why it missed this is there was no visual indicator to Acrobat that this was indeed a form field. Now in the original document, say the Word document that was used to create this, if I had drawn a large rectangle using the shape tool, Acrobat would have identified that text field as a multi-line text field. In this case I can always use my form tools to add that manually. So I'm going to Make sure I'm in editing mode and not preview mode. You can see preview up at the top will take me into preview mode. I need to make sure that yes indeed it does say preview indicating that I am in editing mode. I know it's a little bit confusing. A preview button is going to take you into preview mode. The edit button is going to take you in edit mode. And when edit mode is active you'll see the preview button. When preview is active you're going to see the edit button. So I am in edit mode. I'm going to come over to my tasks and I'm going to choose to add a new field. I'm going to select the add new field drop down and you can see the various field types that I can add. Everything from check boxes to radio buttons to drop downs. In this case I simply need a text field. I'm going to get the text field tool and I'm going to drag out a large rectangle for a multi-line text field. And I love these nice visual indicators that are going to help you get exact the form field exactly the shape and position that you need it in. After I have dragged out the shape, the properties HUD or heads up display is going to pop up and ask you to name this form. I'm going to go ahead and name it address. This is important for submitting the data. From here I can choose all properties. Now if this yellow box does not pop up, it's probably because you clicked off of the form field after you dragged it out. And that's okay, you can always just double click on the form field and that will open up your properties box as well. So from here I want to do a couple things. Right now that form field is simply a single line field and if I clicked on the preview button and clicked within that form field and started typing, you can see it's just going to type a long single line of text. We don't want that. If I hit my enter key, nothing would happen. Continue to create a long single line of text. Need this to be multi-line. So I'm going to click back on the edit button up at the top to enter edit mode. I'm going to double click the form field to view my text field properties. I'm going to go over to the options section of the text field properties dialog box. I'm going to single click multi-line. As soon as I click the multi-line checkbox, that form field now becomes a multi-line form field. I'm also going to visit the appearance because right now if I was to preview this, there's no visual indicator that there's a form field there. We would like a border. Now I'm in editing mode right now so you see it is kind of this light blue color. I'm going to jump back into edit mode and double click this and I'm going to click on the appearance section. Now I'm going to give it a border, a nice little border here. And I think I'll select uh, from these various colors. 
I'm going to select black. You're going to notice down at the bottom, transparent is checked. And I need this to be an opaque border. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then double click the black border. You can see now I have a black border color. And I'm going to choose to make that medium thickness. I would also like the end user to be able to see their font a little bit better. I'm going to raise the font size up to size 12. When you're all done with this, you can click the close button. When I choose to preview this, you're going to see that now I have a multi-line checkbox with that nice thick border going around it that will give the end user an indication that there's a form field there. So from here you can fill out the form. So perhaps you received a electronic document that you need to fill out, but they did not create the form for you. You could quickly run the form fill wizard, fill it out, and click the submit button and address it back to the person who originally sent you this form or perhaps you want to distribute this yourself so I clicked on the edit button to get me back into form editing mode and from here I can choose to distribute the form and email that out to other people and it will just walk you through once you click on the distribute button uh, whether you want to send it via email or acrobat.com so that is how you turn a digital document, in this case it was an existing PDF, into an interactive digital form. This is Scott Trudeau with ScottTrudeau.com. For more tutorials, please visit ScottTrudeau.com.